In this video, I'm going to talk about a remote controlled tank that I've recently been working on. I base the electronics around an Arduino Nano, the HC06 Bluetooth module, and an L298N H bridge module. The tank is controlled wirelessly through Bluetooth using a cell phone or a desktop computer. The tracks, wheels, and frame were 3D printed. Here's a quick look at the schematic. The tank is powered using two 18650 batteries that I've recycled from an old laptop. The motors are simple DC motors with gearboxes attached. The motors are driven by the L298N. It has four input pins and two motor outputs. Each output has two input pins associated with it. The input pins are connected to digital output pins on the Arduino Nano so that the Arduino can control the direction of the motors. The Arduino is powered through pin 30 directly from the battery pack. The HC06 module is connected to pins 2 and 3 for serial communication and it gets 5 volts and ground through the Arduino. Here's another view of the data and power connections for the HC06. I designed the wheels and the frame of the tank using Fusion 360, and the tracks are repurposed cable chains. I had problems with the tracks falling off, so I printed some little clip-on shields to keep everything aligned. I made most of the parts on my Prusa i3 Mark II S, but I printed the cable chains using my FL Sun Delta. The overall design is pretty simple. The cable chains just snap apart. The rear wheels drive everything, and the front wheels just spin freely. Screws hold the wheels in place, and double-sided tape holds most of the components to the frame. The front wheels are designed so that when you tighten a screw into them, they'll expand into a bearing for a pressure fit. Unfortunately, this feature makes the front wheels a tiny bit fragile compared to the back wheels. The breadboard used for the electronics sits on a platform that slides onto the frame. The rear wheels slide onto the shaft of the motor, and a screw stops them from falling off. The motors are held in place with some double-sided tape and a pressure fit. In order to give the tank a little bit more weight, I epoxied some steel plates to the bottom of the frame. I've designed and printed an updated frame for the next version of the tank. It's a lot tougher, and it has a detachable cover. The cover helps align the tracks, and it has spots for mounting more parts. I plan on adding another battery to increase the top speed, and I want to mount a rotating turret or a camera to the top. Well, that's all I've got for right now. In my next video, I'm going to go over the basic programming and the different ways that I can control the tank wirelessly. More information as well as the code is available on my blog. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.